up, Dave prepares for work after Big Brother. And does John James think he and Josie will actually stay together when they leave the house? No fucking way. Not even a chance. Oh my gosh, it's been carnage tonight. Four housemates took the BB bullet just four days away from the final. Big characters too. And the first one is here now. You can stick your scotch bonnets up your jumper. This man will make your bum go boom, boom, boom. Give it up for Red Hot Chili Sam Pepper! <laughs> with you, I think I might have committed murder, but yeah, I think you're one of the most entertaining housemates yeah, that's ever been. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my question for you is, um, when you came into the house, you picked a little bit on Josie, and then you no, picked on that. Corin in this recent week. Did you go in there knowing what you knew before from previous? They were the kind of two favourites, and you thought you wanted to try and break them. Was that your game, or...? I didn't even know Corin was a favourite. Oh. Uh, well, um, no, basically, basically, I'd watched like a couple of episodes before, but like I'd done obviously do a little bit of forum searching mm. if you think you're going in. So I did a bit of that, and I see like conversations between them saying, oh, "I hope Sam don't go in," and like John James was going to walk, and they're all saying, "Don't walk, John James. Don't walk, John James," because Sam will come in. And I was like, "Oh right." So yeah, so Josie was like starting this all off. So when I went in, I saw Josie, and like the first thing I said to her was like. You're such a bitch, Josie. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, because like we were in lockdown together as well, which is like the stage before. We spent four days together, so I thought she'd be definitely the like, one who would get me in. So, but um, yeah, so that's so you why were I had. Upset that she hadn't voted you in. in yeah, the first I, place. I was bitter. But she won you over in the end. I don't care. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> you I'm, were. yeah I, I mean, oh. I like her now, and she's really nice. And, and you like... were a bit horrible, put, jibing about her weight, weren't you? Do you not think? <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that was a bit too much, and yeah. I and You've I didn't realise that. that I was upsetting her so much you until John James that. mentioned it, and then I. Everyone makes mistakes, yeah. man. Yeah. You mean? Well, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. What would you like? But yo, what I want to know is when you went into your house, what was your main objective when you went in here? What did you think? What did you want to do? Like, uh, what was your goal? What did you want to do? Well, like it was, as I called it, the house of love, and I was like. <laughs> Fuck the house of love. Um, <laughs> uh, I, just the wanted, game. I just wanted to like make it fun, like exactly. you know, cause a bit of trouble. And I wanted to like the first, my main objective when I went in there was to find out what was going on with John James and, yeah, and Josie. Josie. Oh, really? Exactly. So like, I went we in really there and appreciated that. Your yeah. brilliant yeah. was brilliant because it was like you said, Straight Britain's up. business. We, never, we wouldn't even know. All the there. questions that we wanted to ask as the yeah. public, he Who asked all of us. Who wants to ask Sam Pepper a question? Two things. Nice taste in glasses. <laughs> and then also, what do you reckon like made you and John James bond together? Um, because like our personalities are really alike. We do <laughs> <laughs> We've got exactly. someone who's a bit upset um, about your weight joints hey, to Josie. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes, darling. Hey, Everyone makes mistakes. Hate's a strong word. He did just call it out. But me and Josie are... Yeah. He, 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 he said sorry. He said sorry. He said sorry. He said sorry. But if someone's got to be allowed to apologise I need to just answer her question and then I'll talk to you. Answer the question. What made you pick on Josie? Wait, wait, wait. One at a time, one at a time. Let him answer that question. It was, why are my friends with John Chen? Yeah, well, basically, our personalities are, like, really alike and... We like winding things up and we'll speak how we feel. So I think that's why we've gotten so well. And we just like, we, I, sometimes we can both be quite immature, so that's why I've got my phone. And listen, <laughs> before, before we go to Catherine, I just want to show you three Sam Pepper looky like it's with the glasses. Yeah. I thought they were, I they thought got, they were they the Josie group. No, they got them for you. Oh, and so listen, Catherine, thank what are people you, talk, Pepper, saying at you. home about Sam? Well, I'm, I'm also quite sensualised by Sam's look. Uh, I don't doubt he could handle the junk in my trunk, but... The people at home, people at home love him too. Uh, love, 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 all in caps. Him. Even though I'm a guy, I still think he's the best housemate in BB history in it. Brilliant. Uh, there you go. Definitely. Even you're getting man love as well. Yeah, yeah, like so come that. on, any other questions? Oh, because you're like Marmite, you either love you or hate you. Yeah. Maybe oh, if people vote to win. Marmite, you would have enough win. I reckon had people vote to win, you could have won it. Yeah, but obviously right. people are trying yeah. to get rid of you. If we'd have had the vote to say this before, I don't care. It's Hi, Sam. Obviously, with you going in You can put your hand down now. 
was about to say that as well. <laughs> that was like being at school. <laughs> In later, Sam, obviously you were never going to be in as long as the other housemates. Did you yeah. feel that you had to kind of exaggerate your, like, jokerness to kind of make up for that and exaggerate any of your original personality? Um, well... Um, no, no, no. Um, no um, well, ba yeah, basically, like, I was just exactly the same as I would be. And, like, um, it's really... When you're in there, when you're in there, it's really hard because this whole house of love thing proper comes down you. And they all do that thing. Sam, just, like, get on with everyone. If you don't like them, just, like, pretend to like them. I'm like... No, no, I'm not doing it. Yeah. So I just like the more they did that, the more they did that, the more I was just like, no, I'm not doing I, I've it. I've got, to, I've got to go to this. So listen, Sam Pepper, we know that you have uh, two loves, and that is getting everyone really riled and graffiti. So um, over here is a beautiful picture um, for you to deface. So you can just grab your ink down there on the floor, and um, you get going, and then I'll come back and see you in a minute. Uh, yeah, okay, then, All right, I'm going to leave the artist <laughs> over there working away. Anyway, moving on oh, now. The last series of Big Brother has attracted a few new high-profile fans, and I'm not talking about the usual celebs like Professor Stephen Hawking or Chris Akabusi. No, we've now got an Oscar-winning Hollywood director. Hooked. And boy, has he got some big ideas. After my most recent movie, Avatar, incredible success, I was left with a, a filmmaker's worst nightmare. What do I do next? Then I was sent a, a tape from a UK producer from Big Brother. 11 people sitting around on a couch. Incredible drama. And I said, look at this. We've got the energy in this house. It's just like what we see in Pandora. And I said, this is it. This is my next project. Cut, cut. OK, guys, your motivation, you're in paradise. It's a brave new world with endless possibilities. OK, look, over there, there's a beast speaking in strange alien tongues. Shikara bombare, shikara balatiko. OK, we got it? Good, good. Yeah, James has been working us really hard, you know, so we've been going at it quite a lot. <sighs> I just want to get it right for him. Cut, cut, cut! Your acting is so bad, it's making me cringe. Get it from the heart, some feeling. Stab at it. Yell at it. There's an eight-legged creature there. It's going to kill you. Get some heart. Okay, try it again. 150% is not enough for James. If we're not giving at least 200%, we're out. Through the magic of cutting edge uh, filmmaking techniques, we've been able to reimagine the pivotal moments of, of the housemates as if it took place in an alien world. Incredible. Fuck off, shabby little rain cloud of doom. Fuck off, shabby little rain cloud of doom. Cut! That's it. That's the money shot. I smell an Oscar. That's in the movie. It was pure cinematic magic, the highlight of my career. This is going to be just incredible. Big Brother Tar in cinemas fall 2010. He's only been out a couple of hours and he's already bagged himself a big cash deal as the new face of DFS. It's Big Daddy Steve! <laughs> So what do you want to ask Steve? Yo, first of all, I just want to say, isn't this guy a legend, man? Yeah. Yeah. A legend! Definitely. And also, I wanted to know, like, in the house, like, you know, like, who did you, like, most warm to? Who was, like, the person you thought you was kind of, like, most close to? Probably Dave. Dave, yeah? Yeah, What, what, made, Dave, you think, yeah. what made you think that? Uh, well, Dave and Corinne, obviously. Oh, yeah, uh, cool. yeah. Obviously Dave, because he's a family man just like me. OK. And he's into the glory. And, uh, <laughs> he put plenty of glory on me. And, uh, yeah, other than that, Dave, the family man, is uh, the guy, yeah. Anyway, hey, you're a legend anyway, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, Gemma, Gemma, what would you like to say? The cheer, the cheer that you got when they came oh, yeah. out the house, well, actually it brought tears amazing. to my eyes. It was so ovation. emotional. It was a standing ovation from Tell everybody me. in that.